Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Panorama, which is a laid-back puzzle game where we build landscapes out of little tiles, and yes, you've guessed it correctly, the tiles are hexagon-shaped, because all the best worlds these days are being made out of hexagon-shaped tiles. They're very in right now, they're very fashionable, our hex tiles, so yes, we're going to use those to make our new world today, and as we play, we unlock special booster packs of hexagon-shaped tiles, which also contain structures that give us special powers, which is all very exciting. So the structures might allow us to grow a great big forest or form a mountain range or whatever. But the overall idea of the game is to just be creative. It's not about getting the most points or building the most buildings or getting to the end. It's about building something nice and enjoying the creative process as you go along. Just make a lovely world however you want to. That's the idea of the game, which does sound very wonderful indeed. Now, the game isn't out quite yet. It's due out on the 27th of April. And as always, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description. So you can go and check it out if you'd like to. But I think it's time to get on with it, isn't it? Let's dive in and build a world out of lovely little hexagon shaped tiles. Okay, here we go. Now at the moment all we have is that one tile in the middle of the screen there all on its own. But from that one tile we're going to build a big beautiful world full of grasslands and forests and mountains and lakes and rivers and settlements and other exciting bits and bobs as well. But we have to begin somewhere and this is where we're beginning. So the tile that we've got to begin with is a grassland tile. Every single tile has its own particular type and that is a grassland tile. We can zoom in and have a little look at it if we want to. And yes, it it looks very grasslandy. It's green, I imagine on account of the grass. It's got some kind of leafy bits on it here. It's got some clovers on it. That I think might be a daisy possibly, or somebody's dropped a fried egg on the floor. Over here, not quite sure what that is. Don't know what that is. Possibly a flower, maybe a mushroom, not quite sure. But there we go. That is our starting grassland tile. And then on the right here, we can see all the other tiles that are coming up that we have to put down. So the one at the top, is one that's currently on the cursor. So our next tile that we have to put down is some sort of field tile. And then we're gonna get another field tile. And then it looks like we might get a tile that's split between forests and then grassland again. That's the grassland icon there. Not quite sure what that one is. That might be something special. Then back to fields and grassland and so on and so forth. So as we play these, the kind of list works its way up. I think we've got 100 tiles to put down. So plenty to work with. And then down here we can see we're on no points at all because of course we haven't done anything. And when we get to 75 points, we get our first tile booster pack. And then we also get our very first structure as well. And we can see what we do with that. So here we go, let's get building, shall we? Now at the moment, it doesn't matter where this goes. We get plus one point wherever we put that because it's a field tile and it's not really kind of getting any adjacency bonuses from the grassland. So let's just put it, I don't know, let's put it there, why not? So there we go, we get one point, very nice. And now we have another field tile. But because we're putting it next to another field tile, so the one of the same type, we're getting two points for it. And you can see above, there are little kind of shiny things telling us that we're getting lovely bonuses from those particular tiles. So yeah, we'll put that one just there. That's quite nice. And now we've got, yeah, forest and grassland. So the tiles aren't split. In other games like this, sometimes the tiles kind of split down the middle and literally 50% of it is forest and 50% of it is grassland. This doesn't kind of have that split in the tile. It just means that the tile is both of those things. So we can see there it's got the kind of grassland things. It's got the fried egg on it again, but also there are some lovely trees as well. So let's put this down, shall we? So zoom out a bit. If we put that there, we get plus three points. That's quite good, I imagine, because the grassland is next to another bit of grassland and a field. So we get two if we put it around here, we get three if we put it there, two there, two there, three there. Let's have, maybe over here, look, we'll have a bit of a forest. It's a bit of a forest there. Ah, right. Okay, now we've got a little house. Oh, there's a little house. That's very lovely. Okay, so there's a little house. We can rotate it round if we like, so we can make it a bit different, look. We can change the style of the tile. That's quite fun. Um, I think... We only get one point for that wherever we put it. So let's put it down here. But I want the one with the well. I like that. There's a little well over there now. Look, that's quite adorable. A little well. And they've got a little kind of stone path leading to it. That's quite good. Right, another field. I think that would go well over there. Look, three points for that just there. Pop that in over there. Right, another grassland tile. We get five points if we put it there. That's a bit of a no-brainer. Pop that over there, please. Right, and then another grassland forest combo uh, you get quite a lot for putting these down we get a lot for putting those down. okay maybe 
We'll put it there, look. We'll put that there. That's another five points. And then we've got field and grassland. That's seven points if we put that there. That's a huge chunk of points. We can rotate it round a bit like that. Look, so there you go, seven points. We'll take that, thank you. And now we've got a lake or a body of water, whatever it is. Um, what does that do well next to? Nothing in particular right now. I imagine it does well next to other bodies of water. Let's put that maybe over there, look. Pop that over there. Right, and then we've got another little kind of... Hang on. Another house has appeared. They've, they've, they've switched that around. They've redecorated that tile. Look, that tile is now different. They've moved it around a bit. Oh, it's changing. Things are changing. And has that changed as well? Has that grown? Has that grown? That didn't look like that originally, did it? I think it might have grown. Hang on, there's, there's a blue flower. Was that always there? It's changing. The world's growing and changing as we put things down. That's quite nice. Right, we'll put that... Uh, what can we do with that? They've got their washing out. They've got their clothes out on a washing line. <laughs> That's quite nice. Um, we'll put the forest up there because we can have a big forest over there. So we'll have a forest just there for three points. Right, another watery thing. Maybe we could create a bit of a lake over there, possibly. Right, another forest. We'll have a, a forest lake. Might be quite nice. We'll put that down there, look. So hang on, you can't have the same house as them. You can have... You can have that one in the middle. That's quite nice. Right, here we go. Here we go. This is kind of like a special quest mission type thing. So we get these occasionally. So we've got over there. So two fields and two bits of water. So if we could just try and swivel that around a little bit, that would be quite handy. So at the top, you'll see that when we try and put this thing down, it's saying plus three. So we need to give this, I believe, plus three score from fields and we'll complete this little kind of mission thing and then it'll place down properly. I think that's how it works. Hang on. Let's rotate that round a bit. So if we put that just there, we get nine points, but we also do need to put down two extra field tiles next to this one, next to these two ones over here, to complete this quest. And that little marker thing is going to hang around until we complete it. I did see a point where we could have completed it. Was it there? There was somewhere where we completed it. Um, Like that. Yeah, like that, look. So I think... Yeah, we're next to three. Ah, yeah, we are next to three. Because that there, the tile there, with uh, that one that the cursor's sort of over now, is a part grassland, part field tile. So right now, the thing that we're placing down, the special quest block of, of tiles, is next to three existing uh, field tiles. So that when we complete that. However, the water is kind of at the wrong end. I would quite like that to go just there. So we get nine points. That's good. So we pop that in. That's nine points. Uh, then we've got, okay, grassland and a rock. Maybe we could have the rock over there. And it is grassland and a rock, look. It's just, it, that's exactly what it is. It is, oh, hang on, it's gone. It's grassland and there's a rock on it. It doesn't mess around there. Okay, so put that there. And then we've got a pure rock tile. Maybe it would be better to put that next to the existing rock tile. So over here, possibly a little bit of a rocky mountain area but if we look at what's coming up hang on a second hang on that could be good so coming up is a mixture between rock and settlements so if we put that there and then we put that just there that means that that tile is next to both a settlement and a rock and it's a combination of those so we get plus four points from that that's quite nice grassland i think can go in there for seven very very nice points indeed and then here crikey's it's a mixture between Forest, grassland, and rocks. Okay, so if we put it next to this, because we've still got our kind of quest thing over here, if we put that next to that, we're going to then have only, what, one field tile left to put around here. But that is a bit obscure, isn't it? Maybe. Could we put that like that? Just pop that over there. It's only two points, but that's okay. Another forest tile can go over there for three points. We're on 71. Four more points and we get our first booster pack. And I think we can get that from putting that just there. Okay, so booster pack is available. We don't have to use it now. We don't have to have it now. We've got the uh, sort of extra tiles out of it. Now that's just our kind of special item structure thing. Um, let's have a look at what this is. So, oh crikey, this has got rocks in it as well. Um, however, if we put that down like that, that completes that little thing we've got to do hang on yeah so we've got the tile in question 
is the one at the top there. So the one with the actual little kind of pointy stick coming out of it. So that tile there needs to be adjacent to three of the field tiles. So if we put that into there, that's going to complete that goal. And then also the one field tile that we're moving in counts toward the goal of the other thing that we put down earlier. So I think that's a bit of a no-brain. Let's put that there, look. And then we get a spinny thing. We get a load of points. That's all very exciting. Uh, we've got a rock over here. Just pop that in like that. That's very good. Water over here. Big lake over there. Right, and another field. That's 19 points if we put that there. That is a heck of a lot of points. Yeah, we'll have that, please. We complete that little kind of quest mission thing as well. Um, we'll put that down there. And then we're going to go and do this. So here's our first kind of structure. What do we want? A hillside cottage... So if we pick one of those, they look lovely. Look at that hillside cottage. Upgrades all stone in a small area. A local cafe. <gasps> they could get tea. Our residents could go and get a cup of tea. Upgrades all the housing in a small area. Or a local bell tower. Doubles points for more housing in a small area. Okay. I don't know what the upgrade does. What does the upgrading do? I don't know what that means. I'm, I'd like a cafe. Can we have a cafe, please? Because that's exciting. Okay, so now we have to kind of put down the blueprint for a cafe. So I think you have to put that kind of... Uh, can we put it over there? I think... Is that going to black things out of existence? So on the blueprint, you can see what we need to do. is We have to then build the structures up. So to build this particular cafe, we need three little kind of housing tiles and one grassland tile. And we put them in, and then it affects that area that we can see there that's around it, marked out with little kind of peg things. So I think if we put that there for now, that will... Oh, do we put it down here, possibly? Do we pop that there? Or do we put it here? Hang on, we're going to build more out that way, I think. I don't know what happens if we try and build on top of them. I think it counts. I think if we put that there, it'll turn... No, then it'll turn those... It'll turn those um, already existing little cottage-type things into our cafe so the cafe will only have customers on that top that's not great is it do you know what we'll put it there and then we'll see what we can do with that later so okay next up we've got this very odd tile which is a forest a field and some water um we're just going to put that there that was a bit weird right another kind of uh, watery one we'll put that over there right grassland the only known thing is we can't put it there we can't put that down where we'd like it because that is not connected to an existing tile, which is a bit of a nuisance. Okay, we'll have six points from that, though. That's okay. Right, another special quest piece. And the end of that quest piece has got to be linked up to four bits of water. Okay, where is the best place for that, then? Hang on a minute. Possibly... That's not too bad, actually. That's not bad. We could have a little island in the lake. That might be quite nice. Right, big kind of... Um, field thing going on we'll put that there right water let's put it next to that so right okay four points right right a house a little kind of house thing our first one put that in there and we're one step closer to having a little cafe which is wonderful right we can go get another thing but hang on we'll build up some more things first uh that's another field put that down here with the other fields that makes sense then we've got rocks put the rocks over here possibly Plus three points from rocks, that's okay. That is rocks and grassland. So that would go well there, look. That's okay. That's another bit of forest. Pop that in there. Another special thing. Okay, that's got to go next to three rock tiles. If we put that there... Hang on. Could we took that... and rotate it round ever so slightly. Is that going to work? A bit like that. So we get five points... But then also, yeah, that like, the thing, you know, the rock with the stick sticking out of it is next to two existing bits of rock. So put that in like that. Uh, okay, get a forest, put that over there. Right, another house. This is good. Pop another house in. So now we're halfway there to having a cafe, which is, you know, the dream. And then if we put that there, we complete that little uh, quest thing over there. The market disappears and we get some lovely points. We have got another one to get. Okay, wait there, game. Hang on. Hang on. Because we can complete our cafe look at this we can get the grassland tile in there that's wonderful and then the little kind of uh village whatever it is i don't know cottage tile settlement tile goes in there and because that's in we've now got a little cafe oh that's wonderful look and i mean that clearly is a mug of tea steaming piping hot tea it even comes with its own cat hang on hang on 
The cat goes green when you mouse over it. Cat? What do we do? You get a point for petting the cat. That is incredible. Okay, do you get points for interacting with other things? Maybe you do get secret hidden points. Oh, that's quite fun. That's quite fun. Oh, we've got a cat and a cafe. That's exciting stuff. Maybe it's a cat cafe. I don't know. Right, another field thing. Put that around here, possibly. Right, another special structure type thing or a special arrangement of tiles. But that's a bit weird, that one. That's a bit weird. If we put... Hang on. Rotate that in like that. So put that like that. That's going to give us a floaty tile. So we complete the previous goal we put down. That's okay. But now we've got another one. And we need to put two rock tiles next to that. Okay. Okay, right. Hang on. Let's go and pick up another thing here. So hillside quarry. Okay, places 10. It places 10 rocks in a small area. Small tree on rocks. Sounds pretty. Uh, upgrades all trees in a small area. Or a geezer upgrades all water in a small area. That might be quite fun. That might be quite fun. Let's have one of those. So what do we need to build one of those? We need a couple of water bits and a grassland bit and a rock. Hang on, could we somehow... Hang on, could we repurpose that there, look? So if we put it down there, it's already got the two water bits and the grassland. One bit of rock goes in and we get our second structure down. That's quite fun. Okay, hang on. And then we get another one as well. Uh, oh my goodness me, a hillside airship expands the tile placement space by one. I don't know what that means. I'm not quite sure what that means. A silo doubles points from all, all farms, so field type things. That might make sense because, you yeah, know, we've got quite a lot of those going on down there. Um, or a local bell tower doubles points from all the sort of little cottage settlement tiles. Again, in a small area. Um... I think we go for the silo. Let's go for the silo. The hillside airship is very exciting, but I don't know what the reward is. Silo, I understand that. So here we go. We'll have one of those. So it is field, rock, and then two... Now oh, that's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? And then two grassland either side. So we can put that on like that. Hang on. Hang on. What's going to be the... Oh, no, we can't put it there, though. That's a bit of a... Oh, hang on. It can go there. Yes. Put that right there, please. And then we've got a grassland tile coming up right now. So pop that in. That's really good. Then we've got a field. The field can just go in. Uh, let's put it there. That's fine. And then a rock. Put the rock on there. We've got a geezer. There we go. Loads of points coming in. That's nice. Geezer, geyser. How we want to pronounce it. It's fine. Um, this is a mixture ah, between forest and water. We'll put that there. Because that's what we want. Here's a little house. Let's put that. Uh, let's put that over there, look. Only two points, but that's okay. Next to, you know, fellow houses. Um, oh, and now we can get the silo done. Oh, I like the structures. I do like those. That's very good. Right, four points from putting that there. And another special arrangement, again, of rocks. Um, I mean, if we could somehow incorporate that into the existing setup, that would be quite good. I don't want this area over here to be too... I want the village to be able to grow. I don't want it to be surrounded by rocks. Maybe that could be their primary kind of industry. They can go rock you know, mining or whatever. Uh, we'll put that there. That seems quite good. So it completes the previous goal. We get a load of points. We pick another thing. This is very exciting. Let's pick that now. A fountain, a hillside mine, or a town cafe. Oh, look, it's a fancy cafe. However, however, I don't want to take business away from the little cafe. So maybe we could go for a fountain. A fountain might be quite nice. That might be a lovely thing to have down here in the village. So let's go for a fountain. So we get places... It places 10, 10 water. Do we choose where that goes? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I mean, the fountain would make sense over here, wouldn't it? Near the village. So you can go to the cafe, walk past the fountain. It's all very pretty. So how about we put that there... And we'll try and build that up over time. It might take a while because it doesn't look like we're going to fit the bits in right now. Never mind. Um, that can go there. It's only a point, but that's okay. We've got, what's that? Forest, field and water. It's a weird mix. We'll put that there. That's eight points. Uh, got a rock. That can probably go there for 14 lovely points. And we are flying through the points. That's quite good. I assume that's telling us what we've got so far. Uh, there, there is a kind of a win condition. Oh, I didn't know that. Unlock all structures to win the game. 
Okay, that might take quite a long time. We've unlocked three, and there are 51 to unlock. Good grief. Um, yeah, so village-based structure, fields, forest, water. Oh, and there's three monuments as well. Okay, I don't think we'll see the end of it, but the plan is to just build a lovely world. Let's just build something really lovely and very pretty that people can enjoy. So there we go. I think over there we shall have another forest over there. Another one of these. However... I think we can probably get that almost finished. If we put that there, that's not so bad. We've got a rock. We rocks down here, do we? No. Um, we're going to keep these spaces here for the village. I want the village to grow out that way. So we'll put the rock over there. That's fine. Right, water. We're going to put water there. Another water. Another water there. So yeah, the, uh, the fountain is taking shape. We'll put that over there. Then we've got, what's that, a village so like a settlement farm rock that's interesting we're going to put it there for seven points that's an odd mixture of things but okay we shall have that one for four points that's a villagey one we'll pop that there that's very nice got a farm one put that around there then we've got oh that's perfect that's perfect that is a village and a grassland that can go there it counts all we need now is a forest oh hang on a second Hang on. If we put that there, we get 17 points. And also, we get our fountain created because we're putting a forest tile into there. The only thing is, we can't get another... Th oh, hang on. Yeah, that would that would invalidate this mission here to get this done. If we put that there, we can't then put three forest tiles around that one with the stick pointing out of it because only two spaces either side. Okay, don't put that there. That's going to make things bad. That's a bit of a shame. That would have gone quite well down there. Botherations. There's no other way we can do it. Uh, we, can, we could put that there. That'd work. That's okay. So we've still got three spaces around it. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. We've completed a fountain. Okay. The, the fountain has, has put water everywhere. That's not what I was thinking that I would like to happen. Because now we can't complete this goal ever unless we get something to blow up tiles, because that needs three forests around it, and there's only one space. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe that wasn't the right thing to do. I didn't know it was going to sort of spew the tiles out randomly. I thought we'd get to put them down. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We'll have four points from that, please. Uh, village tile can go into there. That's quite nice. Water tile. I mean, we could just put it there. Five points. That's quite nice. Little village tile can go in there. Uh, forest tile possible hang on get some points for putting that there look that's okay uh three more points and we can get a new thing which is quite fun uh where should we put this maybe get some more grassland going up that way right we've got a little kind of mission tile thing so that's got to be next to four other uh four oh, hang on hang on uh that's next to four other of the village tiles why Why doesn't that count as it being next to four of them? That's next to two. It will invalidate that goal there. But we might... Oh, no, we can't do that either. Because we can't get it next to two. This is a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Uh, we might have to put that there. We'll invalidate that mission there. Because we failed that by virtue of that fountain just you know chucking water everywhere. Uh, we'll make this a bit bigger over here. Let's work around the back of the geezer geyser thing. Uh, we'll put that there. That's a good amount of points. Seven points there. We'll take that. Bit of water around the back over here. Right, let's put that there. So another little kind of settlement over here. On the other side of the fountain. That's quite nice. Six points from that. Grassland in there. Or grassland over there. Seven points from that bit. We'll take that. And then we'll work the fields around the back here, possibly. Rocks. We've got a nice rock area over there now. Water we could put around the back over here. Oh, it's got lily pads. It's got lily pads on it. And there's a butterfly. Hello, butterfly. Right. And then over here, got distracted by a butterfly and lily pads. Back, come up. Focus, focus. Here we go. Our rocks. Special thing. Okay. So what's that got to be? So that one in the middle has got to be next to two grassland tiles. So we put that there and we can't complete that goal because it can never be next to two grassland tiles. We could put that there. Nine points. It connects the rocks up to the rocks a little bit. And then we do have room 
to put down more grassland tiles. Okay, we'll put that there for now. Um, let's go and pick our new thing, actually. Town Cafe, Small Orchard, or Small Tree on Rocks. Small Tree on Rock sounds quite nice. Like a little sort of a nice place to go and visit in the summer. You go and sit on the rock and watch the sunset or whatever. So, and yeah, we'll have that, please. So what's that? Uh, grassland, two foresty bits and a rock. It would make sense for that to kind of go over here, I think. That can go over here. Um, I mean, we could get one of the trees done already. We could put that there, look. Have one of the trees. Or do we tilt it around? Let's put it there, look. We'll have that like that. Uh, then we've got a rock and a field. Well, hang on. Rock and a field. That's a field. This is a rock. That works perfectly. We'll have that. Then we've got some sort of um, housing-y bit. We'll put that there. Another housing-y bit. Possibly should have put it over here. Forgot about that. Hang on. Uh, put one there. That's good. Oh, that is a house and grassland. That's 15 points. We complete that goal. Boom. We get some nice points. Right. A rock needed to go. Um, and it wasn't over there. It wasn't over there. Uh, we'll put that uh, we'll put that there. Another one of these crikeys. Okay, that needs to be next to an awful lot of rocks. Okay, if we put that there. Uh, yeah, that needs to be next to one rock now. Okay, that's fine. We can cope with that. Right, grassland can go there to build our uh, sort of rock with a tree. Oh, perfect. There we go. That gets sorted out. We've got a little kind of structure there. It is just, yeah, a nice... <gasps> There's another cat. Hang on, give us our point from stroking the cat. Oh, I like that. That's fine. Have they all got things in then? Hang on, hang on. Should I have gone to check this? Is there a cat around? There's another cat there. Give us our free point. Is there a cat over here? I'd find it very unlikely if there was a cat over at the geezer. Um, is there anything else we can click? A frog or something? Can we click the butterflies? Oh, I think I just put something down there. Fortunately, it was water-based, which is okay. <laughs> right, possibly shouldn't go around randomly clicking things. Uh, okay, right, noted. We'll have that just there. That's three points. Uh, foresty stuff needs to go over there. That's very good. Right, grassland. That's got to be next to some grassland. I've got two bits coming up. 16 points. Very good. Okay, this bit over here has got to be next to three villagey bits. We can put that there. That's okay. Put that there. We'll connect that up with a fieldy, watery bit. Foresty bit can go up where the forest is still sort of trying to take shape. Back down here. We will put that there. 90 more points. Joe, you know let's get to let's get to the next goal. And then we'll pick two fancy new buildings to get down, I think. That'll be quite fun. So pop that there. Ah, right, rocks. Here we go. Let's put that there to get us 14 points. Then we've got a forest house water tile right that's an unusual mix of things I mean, where's that going to be best placed i mean there works quite well we're going to put it there it can be a house overlooking that little kind of sort of uh it's not a really lake um uh, a large pond it's got fish actually yeah it's more of a pond it's more of a pond that thing there and uh, then we've got a watery bit we'll put that there so it goes around the side of the geezer then we've got Okay, so we have a house, stone, and water. These are slightly obscure tiles to use. We'll put that there, look, because it's next to that stone. Right, grassland. Do we need anything else? We don't need any tiles to complete any goals or anything, so we'll put that in there for four points. Here comes a thing. Oh, crikeys. Okay, that's got to be next to a load of water. Uh, how's that going to work? That's... Uh, oh, yeah, that tile there. Right, so the tile with a pin in it, that's got to have water, but then also it needs trees over the... Oh, crikey. Okay, that's going to be tricky. We'll put that there so it's next to two lots of water. And then we're going to have to build the forest around the edge. Okay, that's fine. We can work on that. That's okay. Uh, we've got a little kind of uh, farming sort of uh, a village tile thing. That's okay. Maybe somebody could live in there. Get, let's say a farmer in there. Maybe that's where the farmer could live and they go and tend to the fields. We've got a fieldy watery bit. There's kind of, you know, we've got a big body of water over here. But then over here, just got a few little ponds. Maybe they're fishing ponds. That might be quite nice. There's something in there. There's a red thing on that lily pad. Don't know what that is. That's quite fun. Uh, forest. Forest has got to go round here. So we'll try and sort of build the forest up round there. Then we've got farmland and ground. 18 points. For putting that there. Hang on, rotate it round. 
So that bit matches. 18 points is loads. Good grief. Uh, then we've got... There's eight points there. Is anything going to sit? Oh, hang on. This forest. That will complete the forest bit of that goal. Let's put that up there. That's okay. Um, well, another bit of forest. Okay, we'll try and link the forest up now. A farmy bit down here for eight points. That's very kind. A watery bit just there. That's okay. Then we've got what's that field and forest. 16 points from there. Yes. Okay, now we've got two new buildings to get in. So let's get these in. Let's go for... I mean, I'm tempted to get a town cafe. I imagine that upgrades the one we've already got. It must upgrade the one we already have. But we haven't got a little hall and we don't have an orchard. And we could potentially get both, I think. Let's go for an orchard. That might be quite pretty. So we get an orchard. So that is going to be... That affects trees, wasn't it? So we need to put that up here somewhere. Where would that go? Where's going to be a good place for that? Oh, I don't know. There, possibly. That might work. We'll put that there. And then, can we get another one? Um, oh, okay. The options have changed. Hillside Cottage, Hillside Mine. Upgrades or rocks or doubles points from rocks. We'll have a hillside cottage. That's, it looks nice. It looks lovely. We'll have one of those, please. We can put that over here somewhere because there's plenty of rocks around. So could we have that? Uh, no. Could we? No. Okay, right, hang on, hang on. It's going to have to go there, look. But hang on, there's a... Can we not work it so it goes on two of those already? Yeah, we'll put that there, look. That's okay. Right, come up. We've got a rock. Okay, rock tile. Perfect. Put that there. Got a field tile, throw that back in over this side somewhere. That's six points for over there. Right, grassland tile. Put that there to make our orchard. Little housing tile, so the person that works in the orchard can go just there. Grassland tile, boom. We've got a little, sort of, what was it again? A rock side, mountain side cottage. Hang on a minute, hang on. Um, I, I, can we make sure I don't put the tile down, please? I want to click the cat, but I don't want to put a tile over there because that'd be silly. Hello cat, how are you? Another free point. That's quite a nice touch. I like that. That's a fun little thing that you might not necessarily realise. That's quite nice. Oh, hang on. We need to put water there. Okay, we've got some water coming up. Hang on a minute. Right, we don't need to put housing down anywhere. We'll have that there. Yeah, to complete that goal there, we need to put some water down. So put that there. That's 19 points coming to us. A little bit more water. Yeah, we'll put it there. Why not? Forest, we'll put over there so we can complete our thing over there. And another sort of a mini quest projecty thing. Can that go in? No. Okay. It's got to be three fields, but it can't be those, apparently. Why can't... Oh, crikey. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. We need water around the edge of the... Oh, hang on. That works out quite well, actually. Hang on. Put that there. And we've already completed some of the goals. Look! There's a... a I don't know. A canoe? A kayak? A little boat with that you move along with a stick with paddles on the end. One of those things. Just there. That thing. That's quite fun. I like that. Things are changing as we play. Right, so now I've got stone. So maybe connect those up over there. Then we've got... We need a forest. When are we getting a forest tile? Then we've got, uh, yeah, field and a villagey one. That can go I don't know, down there, possibly. That might be quite nice. Rocks, big load of rocks up here. That's absolutely fine. Pop that there. Another one of those can go in there because that's 10 points. That's a good combo of things, I think. That works out quite well. So we'll put that like that. That's upgraded that house. Grassland. I mean, where can the grassland go? We're kind of trying to forge a way through here with the grassland. We'll try that, I think, although we do need more forest up here. Uh, ah, okay. Is that going to complete our thing? That might well complete our orchard. Which might be worth doing. So, right. Boop that in there. And we've got an orchard. We can go look at the orchard. Is there a cat in the orchard? There is a cat in the orchard. Hello, cat in the orchard. Can we have a free point? Thank you very much. Hope you're okay. Right. Back down to a field. That can go there. Then we've got rocks. Rocks can go over there. Grassland. Uh, we'll put that there. We can have a little kind of pond type thing. It's quite nice. It's just a little pond. What's in the pond? Hang on. There's something in the pond. There is, there's a, <laughs> there's a seagull, there's bees, there's bees, okay, the game's got bees in it, it's brilliant and it's the best game, because bees are the best animals and this is known to be true, oh look, there's bees, I mean, 
there might be some out there, some some you know, naysayers that say they're wasps. Clearly, you wouldn't put wasps in again because wasps is irritating. They're bees. Everyone knows they're bees. Okay, water tile coming up next. Let's put that over there because we need that to be next to two water tiles. Now we only need one. That's very good. And then, okay, another villagey tile. Maybe put that there. Try and get some more village over here. Oh, that's a tricky shaped thing that is, isn't it? Okay, so we've got two foresty requirements. That's, oh, that's very strange, isn't it? Um, Okay, that meets, I can't get it so it meets both. Uh, we'll put that there because we are going to build a forest over there. So that's not too bad. And then we'll get another farm bit over there. That's eight points. That's quite nice. Bit of um, grassland coming through here. Water. We'll put that there. That's 20 points. What do we need next? 1,050 for a little... Hang on, we get another thing. Improved silo, windmill, or local hall. If we put a local hall down, that says places 10 village tiles. So that's going to, it's going to spew out 10 of those. That might be worth doing. Let's get a local hall in place. So what do we need? Two housing tiles and two grassland. Okay, so if we put that there... That might turn that bit down there into a great big kind of villagey arrangement. And I didn't notice that was there because we can't put that down. Botherations. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Should have thought about what was coming up next. Ah, bother. Okay, not to worry. Then now. Right, let's put that over there. We've got ourselves a fieldy tile. Uh, that can go there. That's eight points. Another special arrangement. Oh, my word. That is very odd. Um... Okay, that can't be completed if we put that there. That That is completed if we put that there. But then we are kind of hemming in our lake a little bit. I wanted the lake to kind of carry on growing, but I don't think we're going to get that done. We'll put that there. And then we've got grassland. We'll put the grassland in there, just to tuck into that gap. And uh, then we've got a fieldy bit. Right, okay. Villagey bit, just there. I'll put the grassland down there, Pendule Fool. Uh, okay, hang on a minute. I can go just there. Got some rocks. Rocks can tuck in over here, possibly. That's very good. That's rocks and grassland. That counts down here. So we'll put rocks and grassland in. Then we've just got pure rocks. That's fine. Little house. That can just go there. Then we've got field and rocks. Don't really need any of these. We'll put that there. That's five points. Oh, oh look at these. <laughs> these are becoming very... Very elaborate indeed. Okay, so if we put that there, we only need to link it to one more field. But then we need two more water over there. If we can spin that round... Hang on, spin it round so it matches the water. We're then going to need to get three more field tiles around there. Oh, these are getting very tricky. And we're not getting the right amount of tiles to do each thing now. Three, three field tiles quite difficult to get. Uh, okay, what are we on now? So forest, field, and water. So we could, to complete two of those goals there, we could put a foresty thing in there. That would be quite helpful. Then we've got some stone coming along. We know what to do with the stone. It goes in the same place. Great big kind of rocky bit over there. Right, here we go. We're going to get a lovely town hall. And it's just going to generate a load of new settlement-y bits. Oh, that's lovely. Is there a cat? Yes, there is. Hello, cat. Thank you for the point. Lovely stuff. Right, field can go over here because we need to put some over there now right more housing fill that gap in that makes sense fill that gap in then we've got water uh let's have some more water in there show us a bit of water another one of these oh crikey <laughs> um right can we do that yeah put that there that needs to there's a field there so put the field this is very tricky put that there grassland do we need grassland for anything? We're just carry on putting that up there for now. Right, finally, we can sort this out. So put a forest there. That completes one of those goals. Yay, that's nice. Another bit is required. However, we have a bit coming up with a spot of water in it. That's okay. The forest has got a little kind of sort of forest pond in a glade, which is lovely. And then rocks go back over here. That's absolutely fine. Got some grassland that can go over there. Then we've got some more forest that can go just there to complete that goal. Got another kind of villagey bit. This is a field, a forest, and a house. Okay, if we put that there, that completes that little goal there, which is good. 
And we've got even more rock going on. And we've got house, forest, rock. That can come over here to try to complete that goal. And we've got that going in that gap there. If that makes sense, connects up to that. Grassland can go over there. Well, hang on. We can have a thing. Let's pick a thing. Okay, now this is interesting. Is this going to upgrade one of our existing structures? Or is it a brand new structure that's just going to have a whole different effect? I do not know. If we pick a town hall, that's going to place down 20 housing sort of settlement village tiles. 20! That's huge! Uh, the River Geese is going to upgrade all the water in a medium area. And the River Fountain, that's going to place down 20 water tiles. I think maybe let's go for that. And yeah, it's a new thing. It's an entirely, entirely new thing. Okay. Right. I mean, all of our water is over there. So it would make sense if we could somehow fit that into there. Perfect. Like that. So it's not ideal right now, but it will fit into that gap. We're going to put that down and we're going to try to work on that. That'd be quite good. Right. There we go. We've already got one bit done. There's some grassland. Right. A tree needs to go just there. That's okay. Right. Water just there. That's good. And then we've got uh, water, rock. I mean, that could be any of them. That meets the water and the rock requirement. We'll just put it... We've got rock coming up. Let's put that there. Put that there. And then we've got another rock, which can go there. And then grassland. Nothing needs grassland. Just pop that over there. Forest. Put that there. Completes that goal. We should get some more points. And we can have another thing. Let's see what we can have. A local bell tower. Let's get that, because it's the only one-star thing we've got left. So we'll choose that, thank you. And that can go in... If we rotate that around, put that there. We've already got one bit of that done already, which is quite good. So yeah, we'll take that. And then next up we have a little house. I want to put that there. I've been saving that for a little house for a while. Because that'd be a lovely place to live. Out by a little lake, fountain over there. I mean, depending on where these are in relation to the sun... They might block the sun a bit and your house over here, but it's fine. It'll look lovely as the light shines through. Right, and then we've got... What's that? Uh, forest and grassland. Um, I mean, yeah, I'll put that there. That's fine. Oh, now we've got a rock. Do we use the rock to build that thing? Or do we use the rock to build that thing? I think we're more likely... Yeah, we can finish this thing down here right now. So put that there. Put that there because it's part of grassland. And now we've got a little kind of bell tower thing, which is... I think it's facing the wrong way. Yeah, can we turn it round, guys? <laughs> Who were the architects on this? <laughs> Here is our beautiful settlement. They can all look at it and look at what the time might be. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. You've put the clock on the wrong side. Okay, maybe we need to put a village over here then, possibly. That might be quite helpful, mightn't it? Um, okay, put there for nine points. That goes near that thing. Let's put our first house over here. So uh, yeah, everybody can be jealous of this house because they can look up and actually see what the time is on the clock tower. Right, got a, uh, sort of a forest over there. Did we complete the foresty goals? Oh, we did. Oh, that's good. We'll put one there to go around the edge of the lake. That's quite nice. Right, water can go just there. And then we've got forest. That can go just there. And then we've got rock. Uh, oh, hang on. Rock can go there. Yes. So another... Geezer geyser type thing. And it's upgraded all of these. These are all now looking better. They've got fish and lily pads. It's a frog. <gasps> there's a frog. We can't click the frog to get points, unfortunately. Not like the cats, but there's a frog. Hello, frog friend. Oh, this is very good. I like this. Right, stone. Let's get a bit of stone in into just there. Should we? I took it around that way, actually. A bit of stone and a fieldy bit there. Oh, I should have put it next to those. Should have put it next to those. Okay, never mind. I will put that on the other side of the clock tower. Then we've got stone and water. That might go well over here, look. That might go well. It goes well there, actually. That's all right. I uh, got grassland. That's sort of going up in that direction somewhere. Fieldy bits. Let's put it next to one of the field goals, shall we? So we'll have that just there. And then we've got that can go in there with a bit of forest. Oh, crikey. What's that one? That is, that is, so what's that? Four forest on the end there, and then two grassland on that side. Could that somehow be put over here? Hang on, rotate it like that, look. That, that's okay. 
that's okay. We can work with that. That's fine. Right, a new house. That can go in just there. So now people can actually see what is on the clock tower. They can read the time. Very handy. Um, so over here, look, our lake is sort of complete. But there is a geese here. So we could put some water coming back out. So maybe that could link the you have a body of water here, body of water there. And the big geese in the middle links them together. That might be quite nice. That could be a fun thing. That is rocks and a field. We'll put that there. Get some points. That is just a field. Put that there. Get some points. Thank you. Not quite at the next thing yet. Not quite there. But we have got 88 tiles to put down to reach the next goal. I think we're going to be okay. I think we can muddle through with that one. Right. Grassland over there. That's good. And forest in there. That's five points as well. Put that there. Start our new kind of watery bit. Grassland can go over there, I think. Rocks. We don't need rocks for anything at the minute, so we'll just put them around there. Grassland can go over there. Field. We've completed the field goals. That's good. Got another one of these. Got some more tiles coming back in. Uh, this, uh, yeah, that's a field, uh, foresty thing. Put that over there. Grass. That's uh, seven points. Seven points. That's good. That's good. And we've got one of these things. What can we do with this? So, oh, crikey's. Okay, hang on. Hang on. So, could we put that there? That completes the field requirement goal. And then it looks... Hang on, hang on. I, I want to zoom in. I can't zoom in now I've got this. Because when you zoom in using the scroll wheel, it turns your thing around. Um, so, yeah, that completes the field sort of uh, quota. But then we need to put three houses down there. Okay, we'll, we'll put that there. That's okay. We've got half of it done. And then what I think we'll do is, because we're not going to get to 51 buildings. We have been playing for a little while and we've got 10 buildings, which is okay. That's good. I'm quite happy with 10 buildings. And they are 10 lovely buildings as well. But I think what we'll do is, let's maybe just get another two buildings down, or the two sort of fancy ones down, and then I think we'll call it quits there, because, uh, yeah, we've got to sort of draw a line somewhere. We're not going to get to 51. So I think, yeah, another two buildings seems like quite a good achievable goal. So building number one, what are you going to be? Town cafe. Again, so another cafe. A forester lodge. That might be quite nice. Haven't got one of those yet. Or a medium orchard. We have an orchard. Let's get a little lodge, shall we? And that's quite tiny. That's going to place a load of forest. So could we put that into there. That would work quite well. Uh, for, hang on, hang on. We've already got the grassland bit there. Uh, oh, hang on. Can we just put that there and it's automatically built? And it'll put a load of forest there. Do you know what, though? We can spread that out a bit more, can't we? Although, that, that that's very tempting. Just fill that with forest. Joe, you know do that. Make it happen. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. Wonderful. And then down by the, um, down by the lake... We've got a little kind of forester cabin thing. Hang on. Have you got a cat, forester? Yes, you have. Hello, cat. Thank you for your point. Um, okay. Right, so grassland coming up. Take that. And then water. Put that behind the geezer geyser thing. Right, another little sort of a mixed tile of village, farm, and water. Would that go well around here? 11 points. we put it there. That's good. Right, we're going to put it there. We're popping it there. And then that can go there to help complete that goal. Back to the farmland, not farmland, grassland, just there. Uh, fields, fields, oh, forest. Uh, we need forest thing over here, don't we, to complete that goal. That's another few points heading our way. We need another, what's that? 110 points to get to our next potential structure. And then, of course, we have to build the structure, but that's okay. Yeah, I think that seems like a sort of, you know, a suitable, suitable end point. Because, yeah, 51 buildings is, is quite the ask. It's quite the ask. Uh, oh, okay. A new thing that needs to link to farms and also a village. Okay, we'll put that there because we're going to build houses round here anyway. So that makes sense. Then we've got a foresty bit. Put that up at the top. That's quite nice. Right, housing. All housing needs to go down here now. So that's 20 points from completing that goal. Five points from putting the tile down. So yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good in terms of points. We'll put that in the... Oh, hang on, hang on. Put that there. That's going to help complete that goal. That's that's quite good. That's quite good. Let's put that there. That gets that goal down from plus three to plus one. Uh, rocks. We know where rocks go. They go over there. housing -y bit can go into there. Field can go into that gap. Another special arrangement of things. Again with villages in mind. If we put that... 
That's good, isn't it? That completes one of the goals already. Wow. Uh, let's complete the other goal. There we go. That bit is now done. That was quite straightforward. That was quite refreshing. Pop that in over there. We'll put that there because that works out quite well. That's a watery bit. Hang on a second. We can pick our next structure. Okay, what have we got? So, town cafe, uh, town bell tower, hillside mine. Okay, we haven't got the hillside mine yet. It's the only one that's a tier one structure. But then would it be nice to get a town bell tower and put it down in this new settlement bit down here? We could get something new down there. Do you know what? We're going to go for that. It's a bit more advanced, but that's okay. So maybe, could we somehow use one of the bits? Uh, we could use two. Yeah, put that there. That's good. Yeah, so put that in like that. Uh, water is of no use to us at all to build the thing. Trees? Don't need trees. We need another house, two grassland, and a stone. Okay. So let's pop this around the back over here just to build up our beautiful forest. Uh, stone. Okay. Pop a stone just there. And then some more forest over here because it's lovely. Another thing. That's quite big. Three forests at either end. Okay. <laughs> that's going to go over here because we know we're going to have forests. In fact, that completes one of the goals already, which is quite good. Uh, stone. Yeah. Okay. Don't need it for anything now. Oh, lots of wishy lines flying in. Very nice. Right. Grassland. Just there. Stone over there. Water over here. Uh, trees over there. House over here. This is all falling into place. This is quite nice. And then that over there. Another special thingamajig. Oh, well, that is all over the place. What's that one? That's a house and water and farms. Or fields or whatever they are. Um, okay, we can put it there. That completes the water requirement. And then we need some housing and some fields. But that's okay. We'll try and get that in. And grassland. Pop that in. We get a slightly bigger bell tower. Which way is the uh, is the actual clock? Oh, it's facing the right way. There's the cat as well. Hello, cat. Hang on. Hang on. Want a point, cat? There we go. Thank you. Um, yeah. Oh, hang on. There's two cats. <gasps> Double points. That was exciting. Well, that was good. There's two in the... Hang on. There are two in all the level two buildings. Should I have checked? Is there a cat over here? I didn't check over here. In the new sort of level two geezer guys a thing. Um, it doesn't look like it. There's a bird over there. I don't think there is one over there. What have we got next? Forest. That can go over there. Look, complete that goal. Then a bit of water can go around the back over there. Uh, water and forest. We'll put that in there. In that little kind of niche gap there. We'll put that around that side. Grassland can build over there. Right, fields. Let's put that there. We complete that goal. That's very good. Let's get to our next target, shall we? I know we said we're going to build one more thing, but we'll try and you know, get the next thing at least sort of uh, blueprinted, if not constructed. Just see what it is and what we can go for. Uh, grassland. can throw that over there. Right, this needs three houses next to it. So we'll put one just there. I've got water going over there. Field can go over here. Look, to help complete that goal. Oh, my word. Okay, right. Many rocks. We'll put that there because that allows us to complete the water requirement to that. But there's quite a lot of rocks going on over there. Now, okay, might need to put a new rocky bit over that side. That's fine. Uh, trees, they can go in the nice woody bit over there for five points. Water can sort of fill this gap up. That can go there. That completes that goal. We're heading to the next thing already. Rocks. Okay, we'll put some rocks down in the middle over there then, shall we? Then grassland can go into there. And I think when the little kind of wooshy things arrive, there we go. We go back up to 89 tiles and we can pick our next thing. Medium Forester Lodge, River Fountain, Town Cafe. Um, do you know what? Well, let's go for... We've got... We've had... Hang on, hang on. We've got one thing in the... No, we've got multiple things in the forest. We've got the rock with the tree by it. Let's go for a town cafe. Let's go for another cafe. That would be quite lovely. And we'll just sort of... Hang on. That could go in the middle. That could go in the middle as a bridge between the two kind of existing settlement bits. That might be quite nice. Like you know, Bring them together kind of thing. So we'll pop that down like that. I mean, can we get that in? Can we get that in? That might be quite a joke. We're going to get that in. We're going to get that in now. That's what I've decided we're going to do. We've got trees already going in. That's a housing bit. That's a housing bit. Uh, rock 
Oh, hang on, rocks we need over here, don't we? Hang on a second, pop a rock over there. That's a housing bit and grassland. Another housing bit coming up later. So we'll put that on there. Then we've got a fieldy bit, which I think we can get some good points from putting it just there. Then the other house can go there and then the tree can go there. It's perfect. It, it was meant to be. And now we've got a little cafe. Oh no, a big cafe. There's the little cafe. Here's the, all sorts of crazy things are happening. <laughs> Many whooshy things has happened that I think because we've got a load of points and then it's next to the sort of a big town hall, whatever that thing is, you know, the big sort of bell tower thing, which doubles the points, does it? It gives you more points, I think. So that's why we got a load of uh, wishy lines happening there. And one very big important thing to check, there is a cat, thank you very much. Is there another cat? Because we have seen now multiple cats being uh, sort of hidden around the place. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. But there we go. Do you know, with that done, hang on, there's a gap. I don't like the gap. We're going to fill the gap in. I don't like that gap there. We'll um, we'll put that there and we'll get some rocks over there and we'll get grassland. Yeah, 17 points for that in there. That's quite nice. Get some trees over there. A nice house in there and that can sort of live over there somewhere possibly. We'll put that there. Stone goes where stone is. We know where stone goes. And one final house and there we go. I think, oh crikey, look at that. That's quite complicated, isn't it? That's going to be tricky to get in. Do you know, we'll put that in there because that's quite nice. And with that done, I think we will finish things up for now with Panorama. But this is really good. I like this. And look, we started out with that one little tile. I forget where it was. Was that it there? I think that might have been it just there, possibly. Um, Was it? I can't recall now. It was over here somewhere. We put a field next to it. I think it might have been that one there, maybe. But from that look, we've made this entire lovely, wonderful place with a nice kind of lake bit over here with, with geezers in it. And there's a little one, a slightly bigger one. There's a nice sort of foresty area over there. Forester Lodge. We've got a kind of a, a nice rock with a tree by it. That's quite a fun feature. Then we clicked on the cat over there. Yes, we did. So I can see people going to the forest and hiking out to this and using that as a kind of, you know, sort of a base point type thing. Oh, there's a tent. There are tents. Oh, hello, people staying out in the woods. That's quite exciting. Got an orchard, got a lovely kind of area of grass on there, like a beautiful meadow type thing. Out here, we've got somebody who sort of prefers to live away from the hustle and bustle out by the rocks with their cat as well. Big rocky area, big settlement. Got a lovely cafe going on over there. Got some big sort of town hall thing happening. Lovely farming area with a silo and houses in it and rocks and things. It's really nice. It looks really good. And bear in mind, we're supposed to unlock 51 buildings and we've unlocked 13. That's not that many out of 51. So there's a great deal of work to put into this. And it's not like really you're struggling for the pieces. It's not like you're going, oh no, I'm really running low on tiles. I better be careful because the game, I think, wants you to build. It's kind of, that's the whole point of the game. They want you to go ahead and make something lovely and get designing and get creative. And maybe you could do things very differently. Maybe you'd have lots of little individual settlements rather than having a big sprawling one like I've done. But you know, I quite like that. I like the fact the game is saying, do you know what? Don't worry about running out of tiles. We know that's the whole fun part of this game. Putting down the tiles and building stuff. You can have loads of them. Get building something wonderful. I do like that. So yeah, this is wonderful. I like this. It's really enjoyable. It's very calm. It's very laid back. It's very easy to play. It's not tricky, is it? I think we made one mistake, was it? When we put down a forest tile down here and we couldn't put forest things next to it. I think that was the only mistake we made. And you don't get punished for it. The game doesn't go, oh no, you failed there. You just don't get the points that you would have got had you successfully completed it. So I think overall it works really well. It looks very pretty and yeah, I've had a thoroughly lovely time. But yeah, we'll wrap things up for now because I think we've created something very lovely, but we're not going to get anywhere near the 51 structures because we will be here all week playing it I suspect which would be lovely but I think that might make for a slightly long YouTube video so we'll finish things up for now and then just leave it and imagine our settlement goes on to wonderful and brilliant things and of course 
there are lots of cats in it as well so let's hope they go on to lots of wonderful brilliant things too but yeah we'll wrap things up for now hopefully you have enjoyed this if you have please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i'll see you next time oh no not the piggy wigs want them to be healthy happy pigs please raspberries 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 everywhere I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well, and they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going? <laughs>